Mr. Chair and dear brother, thank you very much for giving me the floor and for the generous feelings that you have expressed towards me. I wish, first of all, to particularly acknowledge and highly appreciate the invitation extended to my country to participate in this meeting as one of the incoming African members of the UN Security Council. Frankly speaking, and uh, on a selfish note, this is very beneficial to us as we prepare to take up the responsibility to serve Africa and to honor the mandate we have kindly received from our continental organization, the African Union. We pledge to rise to the level of trust that has been bestowed upon us. In this regard, let me reaffirm before you the strong commitment made by President Abdel Majid Tebboune himself that Algeria will spare no effort to strengthen the African voice within the Council and to faithfully reflect the views, concerns, and aspirations of our continent in this major UN body. We will be more than honored to do that, building on the genuine efforts and remarkable progress achieved by our dear sisters and brothers from Ghana, Gabon, and Mozambique the current African members of the Council who have so ably championed our common causes. Our collective voice of wisdom and commitment is indeed badly needed in this critical and challenging global context to help bridge increasing divisions and overcome mounting polarization that heavily and negatively impact on the Council's effectiveness in addressing peace and security threats. In doing so, Algeria will remain deeply committed to the principle of African solutions to Africa's problems, which reflects the essence of today's debate on the financing of AU-led peace support operations. For us, the importance of this issue cannot be over emphasized. It has three major merits which all confer a strategic dimension to our collective endeavor in seeking access to UN assess contributions to fund peace efforts in Africa. Firstly, it secures continental appropriation and ownership of the instruments and tools designed to address Africa's peace and security challenges. Secondly, it provides the right alternative to the current UN peace model, which has reached the limits of what it can or cannot do. Thirdly, it demonstrates Africa's commitment and willingness to make its own contribution and to bring its fair share to the collective security system as provided for in the United Nations Charter. We are truly encouraged by the progress made so far in spearheading the African common position on this issue, and we highly value the work done by both the African Union Commission and the A3 to pave the way for the adoption of the long pending Security Council resolution aimed at ensuring adequate, predictable, and sustainable funding of AUP support operations. We believe that Africa has every right to have access to the UN assessed contributions to fund its peace operations. We also believe that the collective security system will gain more efficiency and more effectiveness by enacting this long-awaited fundamental change. We finally believe that the international community has every interest in this endeavor as it will ultimately alleviate the increasing pressure on UN peace operations while providing more efficient answers 
to the complex challenges at hand. I wish our African sisters and brothers in the Security Council every success as they embark on substantive negotiations to move forward this issue. I would like to assure them once again of Algeria's full support to this innovative, creative, and rewarding undertaking. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair.